से ब्रेथटेकिंग सीनिक ब्यूटी स्ट्रगलिंग माउंटेन्स रेजिंग टॉरेंट्स एंड जेंटल स्ट्रीम्स एंड द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट पॉप्स अप इन माय माइंड इज नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया हाउएवर इट इज ऑफन टर्म्ड अनटैप्ड व्हेन इट कम्स टू टूरिज्म एंड एक्सप्लोरिंग द हिडन ब्यूटी द रीजन हैज टू ऑफर इट इज लाइकली दैट मेनी फ्रॉम द नॉर्थ ईस्ट इटसेल्फ आर येट टू एक्सपीरियंस मोस्ट ऑफ द रीजन बट an opportunity to visit some of the least travel areas of the land of the rising sun arunachal pradesh came rolling down how to know the whole story we'll have to rewind a few days government of arunachal pradesh is leaving no stone unturned to put the state on the tourism map of the country and one such attempt came in the form of trans arunachal drive organized by the state tourism department along with mahindra adventures as the expedition partner 30 suvs with around 85 participants from across india are traveling to places such as bomjir kambu mechuka pasighat dirang Tawang and several others over a period of 12 days for the second edition of the Trans Arunachal Drive. So we are right now in Pinsukia in Assam and we are about to start on a, a journey for the Trans Arunachal Drive and right behind me you can see these are going to be our rides for the next few days Starting from Tinsukia the convoy passed through the vast tea gardens of Digboy that blended with the horizon the coal mines of Margarita and the historic Stillwell Road The drive covered over 120 kilometers before finally reaching its first destination that is the Pangsau Pass on the crest of the Patkai Hills along the Indo-Myanmar international border At Pangsau the convoy was welcomed by the bright yet gentle sun coupled with the strong yet comforting wind at over 3000 feet Then there were cultural dance performances of the Tangsa Naga tribe in the presence of Deputy Chief Minister Chauna Main Speaker Pangsa Dorji Sona Laisam Simai advisor to the Minister of Tourism and several others Arunachal Pradesh is going to be one of the most sought after tourist destination in the days to come You see we have got so much of uh, diversity you see we have got the so much of nature in Arunachal Pradesh so much of cultural diversity in Arunachal Pradesh from tropical to subtropical to temperate to subtemperate to alpine zone or the, the climatic zone and we have, we have put the hills the beautiful hills the beautiful jungle the beautiful lake the beautiful river the beautiful people who welcome the the guests uh, with jai hind jai hind so much of beautiful people so much of welcoming people definitely this is going to be the future destination to its destination we have got uh, potential for eco tourism pilgrimage tourism pasuram pun is there mali dithan is there bismarck nagar is there tawang gompa is there mechuka gompa is there ha huh? and then uh, we have got lake so much blau lake the seven lake in anini so much of beauty in arunachal pradesh and infrastructure you call it road communication you call it air communication with the uran the flight communication that scheme and the regular flight to pasiga to to teju and to the, the other parts of arunachal pradesh railway connectivity with all these facilities coming up with infrastructure facilities 
Arunachal Pradesh is definitely going to be the tourist destination of Arunachal the entire northeast. It was not too long after the deputy CM spoke to East Mojo that he officially flagged off the epic 2000 km drive from Pangsao Pass. The convoy then set out for around a 65 km drive to Rima, a village inhabited by around 70 families of the Tangsa tribe. There, the participants were welcomed by the tolling of bossed gongs, locally known as Kharna. The panoramic landscape, the traditional huts, and the echoing music set the perfect contrast that leaves you awestruck. The huts with slightly arched roofs are made of tall bamboo grasses and bamboo stems. This is also a clear indication of how the people in this region are still attached to their roots. However, that was not all. The convoy then went on to cover another 95 kilometers surrounded by lush greenery before reaching Miao, which serves as the headquarter of Changlang district and the gateway to the Namdapa National Park. That is not all though, there's more to this beautiful journey. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.